Hello. There's no hiding it, I'm a huge rum fan. Rum conjures up so many wonderful images. Sandy beaches, jerk chicken, carnival. It also, obviously, makes us think of kilts, deep fried Mars bars, and William Wallace. Obviously. Forget your steel drums and pass me the bagpipes because in this video, we're off to Scotland. Right, so there's been an awful lot of chat about the exponential growth of spiced rum and it's stealing the airwaves. I'll forgive you for not having noticed the emergence of a new rum market. Rum distilleries have been popping up all across the British Isles like fans at a Justin Bieber concert. I caught up with the absolute gentleman, Kit Carruthers, owner, brewer, distiller, and one man show at the Ninefold Rum Distillery in Scotland. Hi, I'm Kit from Ninefold Distillery, and I'm the owner and distiller. There's probably three main bits of the process in there. There's fermentation, there's distilling, and then there's the aging. I basically only have two options on the still, pure pop distillation. The way that I make my rum, I use the column. When it comes to fermentation, there's much more scope for playing around with this stuff. Fermentation length, temperature, yeast, molasses, and time. Why the name Ninefold? This six-wing angel, uh, is my family crest. And then ninefold just comes from the fact that that's six-winged angel, that's, that's seraphim, six in the ninth level in the angel kind of hierarchy. What, you, you've challenged me with your product because I want to drink it and treat it like an aged product. This is, this is probably the, the, my single biggest challenge. If they see a white rum on the shelf, they automatically think, cheap supermarkets or mass-produced spirits and they look at the price and think well I'm not paying 35 quid for that because I, they think they know what they're getting but as soon as you add colour to it no problem selling it. This is so good really delicate really really subtle on the palate lots of beautiful aromas it's like white chocolate melting in your mouth that will go with pretty much anything or just enjoyable to sip as is I think. I picture it over some ice, maybe an orange zest. You may have noticed an orange theme going on here. Kit's beard. So for me it was a case of um, it was about production efficiency which sounds really boring. It's so it. cold Kit. <laughs> <laughs> no it's the truth though isn't it? It's, it's, it's objective, it's scientific. And, yeah, and, that, and that's your exactly. approach, it's different to others. Wow, so when, when you talk me through that, you, it, it, it's no wonder so many people got into distilling gin. Because of how... <laughs> don't, don't need to be rude to all the gin distillers out there. In fact, I know quite a few of them. I might be in trouble for saying this, but <laughs> it sounds a hell of a lot easier to make gin to me. It's a difficult time for anyone out there in business, in particular for new startups. But this is also a really exciting time for creators and distillers to experiment with quality sipping products made anywhere in the world and now right on our doorstep. If you'd like to learn more about Ninefold Rum, then please click on the video link on the left where you can watch the full interview with Kit and myself. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe so I can continue to share insights about premium products and premium people.